Did you know when you're talking about Christmas, the essence of Christmas? Well, it's exactly that. It is the very fabric of a fairy tale that has actually come true. Listen to what Paul wrote in his letter to the Philippians. Philippians chapter two, it's an extraordinary statement. It says this, although he, speaking of Jesus, existed in the form of God, he did not regard equality with God as something to be grasped, but he emptied himself, taking the form of a bondservant and being made in the likeness of men. Why? Because, well, we can put it off in this place of fairy tale, but we, when we come to Christmas, we have to, we have to begin to deal with the possibility, at least, that this was, in fact, an extraterrestrial, somebody not of this planet, though he was creator and everything was created through him, and it's called the Great Descent, and he empties himself, and not only that, he takes the form of a bondservant, and if you read on, then you read, well, what do you read? Well, you read simply that he takes the form of a bondservant, even to the point of death on a cross. My question to us now would simply be, how might we come into Christmas and then on into the new year and really celebrate the truth of the purpose for Christmas in the first place? What might happen? I think we just have to go back a few verses and pick up where the Apostle Paul, now listen to what he says. In light of someone coming from outside earth taking, although he existed in the form of God, he didn't regard equality with God as something to be grasped, but took on the form of a bond slave, even to the point of death. We need to go back and look at what Paul told the church at Philippi and watch. And I think this is our secret sauce to not only experiencing the joy of Christmas in a way that's not well just not kind of pulled apart by all the things we've talked about previously with materialism and everything else and actually live into what I think the spirit of Christmas should be. So listen to what the Paul, Paul, the Apostle Paul says. He says this, he says make my joy complete by well by being of the same mind, by maintaining the same love. Well, wait a minute, what if I just, just take in these words, this admonition, uh, united in spirit. Could we be as a church and a community and as an extensive community, maybe you're watching this and you're not able to attend Church of the Red Door, but could we be of the same mind, like on the same page as to what we're talking about right now, now intent on one purpose, one purpose, and he says, do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind. Let each of you regard one another as more important than yourself. Don't merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the, uh, the interests of others. And then it says this, have this attitude in yourselves, which was in Jesus, and then that's where I started who, although he existed in the form of God. Are you with me? Paul is trying to communicate that somebody outside of time and space has entered the realm of the mortal. The immortal has entered the realm of the mortal and has come for a specific purpose. And his attitude was everything I just read. Have this attitude that was in the, the extraterrestrial, if you will, the, that, that being that, that God-man that comes from outside time and space, invades and enters, yeah, it's a nativity scene, it's true, with the young mother that didn't really know what she was getting herself into, or her fa you know, his, his half-father, stepfather of sorts, Joseph, was not his seat, but you get the point, and, and, and then he invades, and he descends, and comes out of nowhere to well, to die, but to, before he dies, to live a life of humility focused on other people. That's our admonition, and that was my admonition because that was Paul's admonition. That's my Christmas note to you. I hope yours is, well, fantastic, not just for what you get or even what you give, but, well, for how you live out, 
why, how you live out the life that Jesus had prescribed for himself and now invites us into, and it gives us abundant life. Hope your Christmas is wonderful.